Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to economics class. Uh, today we are going to uh, recall on the demand and supply, uh, which is very important in economics. Uh, that you have actually studied this one in uh, either in grade eight or in grade nine. Uh, today I am going to uh, recall only some important points in demand and supply because uh, this topic is important for uh, the topics that you will be studying or you have uh, studied in grade 10, uh, like international trade, exchange rate, uh, and so on. So first, uh, we we'll see the difference between the extension of demand and increase in the demand. Because uh, oftentimes, students actually confuse between extension and increase. Extension occurs the cause. Here I have written, uh, the cause is only the price. The price will decrease. So because of that, there is an uh, extension of demand, which means the movement here, is the movement is on the demand curve. Yeah, the movement on the curve to the right. However, here you will see the other factors. The extension occurs due to other factors that you have studied actually uh, the other factors that affects the demand. So the increase occurs due to the other factors like increase in income, increase in population that you have studied. So the difference between once again here is there is a movement on the demand curve to the right, which is an extension, and in the increase, which is the movement of the demand curve to the right. So I hope you understand at that much. Uh, now let's see the contraction and decrease in demand curve. So here the contraction occurs once again the cause is only the price. The cause is only the price. Due to the price increase, the demand actually contracts from Q to Q1 here. There is a movement along or on the demand curve to the left. But in the decrease in demand, which is actually caused by the other factors, uh, non-price factors, the demand curve moves from D to D1. There is a movement of the demand curve to the left. So these are the factors, most of the factors which will actually affect the demand. On your left here, there are the factors that increase the demand. Here are the factors that decrease the demand. So what you can do actually in grade 10 is you can write all of these top uh, these no uh, points all of these points you can write in uh, on a paper then you can use that as a reference when you answer the questions the problem is that most of the students actually don't know they don't remember these factors without remembering or without knowing these factors you would not actually understand what happens to demand and supply. Uh, so these are, these are very, very important. You can uh, have this written on your paper and you can use as a reference and then you can answer, you can use this to, the, uh, to, to answer the questions. Let's say uh, the difference between the extension of uh, supply and increase in supply. Once again, the extension occurs due to the price. So the, uh, we call this extension because there is an increase in the quantity. You can see there is a movement on the supply curve. 
Here, there is a movement of the supply curve. This occurs due to other factors, once again. And the contraction and decrease in supply. Once again, contraction occurs due to only the price, only due to price. There, the decrease occurs due to the other factors. This is very, very important. Uh, I am emphasizing all this on this one because this one is very, very important. You will have to understand the difference between the extension and increase and contraction and decrease of demand and supply both. So <coughs> let's see some of the factors that would increase the supply, some of the factors that would decrease the supply. Once again, you can have this written on your own paper. You actually write it. Don't have the printed uh, copy of this one. You write on your own. These things you can write, and then you can use this, to, uh, this as a reference to answer the questions. <coughs> so then let's see the difference between the shortage and the surplus. This is very important in demand and supply because shortages and surpluses, this one, shortages and surpluses affects the price. Uh, almost all the questions in demand and supply, which is six marks question actually, will ask you to analyze what happens to the price and quantity. Actually, uh, some questions will say, uh, analyze what happens in the market. That means the price and quantity. Here, the shortage and surplus will affect the price. This is how it affects the price. Shortage, shortage increase the price, surplus decrease the price. So in demand and supply diagram, how to identify whether it is a shortage or uh, a surplus? Shortage actually occurs when there is more demand and less supply. More demand and less supply. So there is shortage, which means there is less quantity of goods and service actually for the people who uh, want those goods and services. For example, during the crisis nowadays, we have some goods which are not enough for the people. People need more of them. So there is a shortage, not enough of the goods and services for the people, less quantity. That you can see in the demand and supply diagram actually. If the demand increase, if the demand increase, there is definitely a shortage. And also if the supply decrease, there is also a shortage. So shortage occurs uh, in two ways, demand increase and supply decrease. So if the demand curve uh, shifts to right, definitely it's a shortage, which will increase the price. On the surplus side, we see surplus occurs when supply is more, but demand is less, which means there are more quantity of goods and services. People need an amount of quantity of goods and services, but there are more of goods and services. Before this corona, virus problem, COVID-19, uh, China had that problem. China actually produced more than it needed. Therefore, the prices, the prices were very, very low. They were having this problem and suddenly the corona thing actually happened. Uh, so now we have different problem. So once again, Surplus occurs because there is more goods and services than what people want. So surplus occurs due to two reasons. One is 
when demand decreases. The other reason is when the supply increases. If the demand curve, if the demand curve shifts uh, to left, definitely there is a surplus, then the price will fall. And the supply curve, if the supply curve shifts to right, then definitely there will be a surplus and the price will fall. So if you understand this concept, the shortage and surplus and how it affects the price, then it will be very easy for you to answer the demand and supply questions. Once again, sequence of events is very important. When uh, I have come across students actually, they have uh, some misconceptions about the sequence of events that occur in demand and supply diagram. Let's say some students will say quantity increases due to that the price increase, but which is actually wrong. You will not get uh, enough marks. So first thing here what happens is this is the diagram. In the diagram we have this space. This space is called quantity price or price quantity space. Price quantity space. This diagram is actually uh, given on price and quantity. So what happens is when a non-price factor changes, for example, let's say uh, income of the consumers increase. Due to that, the demand curve shifts to right. That is the first thing which occurs. The demand curve shifts to right from D to D1. That is the first thing that occurs. Then because the demand curve shifted to the right, at the original price P, at this price, you can see that there is, there is a shortage. The, the new demand is greater than the supply. The new demand is greater than the supply, which is a shortage. We have actually come across the, how the shortage occurs. Shortage occurs when the demand is more than the supply. Here, this is the supply, the supply at this price, this is the supply, but at this price, new demand means at here. So there's a shortage. Therefore, because of the shortage, the price actually increase, the price increase. Because of the shortage, the price increase. When the price increase, you will have to recall that what happens to the supply when the price increase. When the price increase, we have studied the price increase causes the supply to extend. So there is an extension of supply which occurs due to that. When this extension occurs, why do we call that extension? Because more quantity is traded. People buy more quantity. Therefore, these are the sequence of events. Analyze using the demand and supply diagram the effect of an increasing uh, in the demand of uh, demand for cars on the market for tires. Actually, here in this question, you don't have to uh, write answer on. You don't have to show analyze the market for cars here. You don't have to analyze the market for cars. The question asks you to analyze the market for tires. The market for tires. What will happen to the market for tires? So actually, this is a complement, cars and tires. These are complements. Therefore, when the demand for, when more people buy more cars, there will be more tires demanded. So the demand for tires here, 
the demand for tires increase. Because of that, there is a shortage of tires. More, when more people buy that tires, those tires, there will be a shortage. Then, because of the shortage, the price increase. When the price increase, there is an extension of supply, which actually causes more quantity of tires traded. So, when you write the answer, when you write the answer, this will be what you write. The demand curve shifts to right from D to D1. As a result, the market uh, price increases from P to P1. As price rises, the supply extends, increasing the quantity traded from Q to Q1. That's all. So this is actually a six marks question. But you will get six marks only when you draw the diagram correctly and when you write the answer. Uh, for some students, it is difficult to draw the diagrams because they usually start from the wrong, wrong lines. Some students draw first demand and supply. They make a cross and then they will draw these lines, excess. But first, you have to draw the excess. First, you have to draw the excess and show the initial original market. Here, the market for tires. Showing the original market or initial market means simply drawing the excess and labeling quantity, price, origin, and then drawing first. You can draw the demand curve or you can draw supply curve. This is the original market situation. Then draw this line, P, here, quantity, that's all. Then what happens when this happens? When the demand focus increase, what happens to the uh, tire market? The demand curve, simply this curve shifts to right. There is a new demand curve. There is a new demand curve. So D1. Then you can write. So previously, we have seen a shortage. In this diagram, we will see how the surplus actually affects the market increase in supply. We know that when the supply increases, there is a surplus. So how the surplus will affect the market? Here what happens is the reason is given a fall in the cost of factor production. Usually fall in the cost of production, they will say. So when the cost of productions, for example, wage or raw material costs, or re even rent, when these things fall, actually uh, the firms, the businesses have more working capital with them so that they will be able to buy more raw materials or more, uh, they will be able to hire more laborers. Because of that, they will be able to produce more. That is why when the cost of production falls, when the cost of production falls, the supply actually increases. Once again, here, when the cost of production falls, the supply increases. When the supply increases, what, what happens is the surplus occurs. Here is a surplus. Actually, this is the original price. This is the original price. At this price, the demand is here, but the supply will be around here at new supply curve. So there is surplus. More quantity is supplied at original price. So there is a surplus. Because of the surplus, the price will start falling. Because of the surplus, the price will fall. And therefore, with the, when the price falls, what will happen to the demand? The law of demand says at lower price, people will buy more. So people will buy more. There is an extension of demand at lower price. Price falls, that fall in price causes an extension of demand. 
Because of that, we have that more quantity we see here. So that is how you actually uh, write the answer here, you can see. Supply curve shifts right from S2, S1. And because of that, you can actually omit that shortage or surplus part. At this level, all levels, you can omit that. Uh, but you will have to understand what happens to the price because of the surplus, what happens to the price because of the shortage. You will have to understand. But in your answer, you can omit that. It's no problem. There is no problem with that. Uh, so when the supply increase, there's a surplus. Surplus causes the price to fall. When the price falls, there's a demand, uh, extension of demand, which makes the quantity traded increase. Sales tax will affect the demand indirectly through cost of production and supply and price. When a business have to pay more GST, they have less actually uh, budget or they have less uh, working capital with them because they have to pay more GST now. When they pay more GST, uh, their working capital will be lower. Because of that, they will be able to actually uh, hire less labor, buy less raw materials. Because of that, they will be able to produce less, supply will be less. So when the supply in the market decreases, we know that it creates a shortage. Because of the shortage, the price will rise. When the price rise, there is a contraction of demand. So this is how the sales tax actually affects the demand. OK. Uh, this is, once again, a question from past papers. Analyze using a supply and demand and, uh, diagram the effect of increasing sales tax. So you will have to analyze what happens to the quantity traded, what happens to the price when there is an increase in the sales tax. So let's say in Maldives, the GST increase. Once again, GST increase. When the GST increases, the businesses will have to pay more GST. They now have less budget for the other purposes like uh, hiring uh, laborers, buying raw materials, paying rent, and all those things. They will have less money with them. With that less money, they will be able to produce less. Therefore, the supply curve shifts to left. The supply decreases. When the supply decreases, we know that supply curve shift to left. When the supply shifts to left from S to S1, we know that now there is a shortage. When the supply falls, there is a shortage. When the shortage occurs, the price starts increasing. When the price increase, that increase in the price causes the demand to contract. When price increases, the uh, law of demand says, the higher the price, the lower the demand. So there is a contraction of demand. And because of that, there is less quantity traded. So this is the sequence. First, the supply decrease and the shortage occurs. Shortage occurs because of that shortage. There is a shortage. Because of the shortage, the price increase. When the price increase, there is a contraction of demand, which means there is less quantity traded. So this is actually how you can write the answer. This is the diagram. This is the answer. Then let's see. What will happen in the market when both curves change? When both curves change? 
Here we assume that both curves have changed to the same extent. Here also both curves have changed to the same extent, which means there is no change in the price. There is no change. When both curves actually uh, shifts to the same extent, to the same direction, here we assume we, will, we, we are seeing the demand is also decreasing, supply also decreasing, which means there will be no change in the price. Here we are assuming we are seeing the demand increasing and supply also increasing to the same extent, no change in the price. But if there is a demand increase and supply decrease, then situation will change. So then you will have to see whether a shortage occurs or a surplus occurs. So we know that when the shortage occurs, there is a, a, a price increase, a surplus causes prices to, to decrease. So and then here we see the supply decreases, demand also decreases. But here we are seeing that supply decreases more, there is a more decrease in supply than the demand decrease. In this case, actually more decrease in supply and less decrease in the demand, which means there is actually a shortage, demand, uh, supply decreases more than the demand, which means there is a shortage. A shortage always increases the price. Here, when both curve actually move to same direction, which means left, that means there is a quantity decrease. When both curves move to same direction, quantity also moves to that direction. Here we see supply increases more, but the demand increases less. We know that the demand increase will cause a shortage, supply increase will cause a surplus. But when the supply increases more, which means now we have seen the shortage is uh, smaller, surplus is larger. Because of that, there is a, a bigger surplus, there is a small shortage. So the bigger surplus will decrease the price. Because both curves move to right, quantity also will move to right. So this is how you have to uh, actually see the diagram, look into that diagram. Uh, what happens to the quantity? What happens to the price? This is how you have to analyze. Uh, I hope you understood uh, what I have actually explained today. Uh, thank you. Well,